Okay, and then, oh, here comes Cease. And I'm gonna mute everybody. And of course, if you do have any questions or comments, wait for me, I am on a smaller computer today. So your little squares that I'm looking at you guys in are a little smaller. So if you wave at me and I don't see you, you might need to wave bigger. Hey, Cease. Hello. Hi, Angela. So today we're going to be doing uh, neck and shoulders and we'll be sitting, but we're going to start laying on the floor for a quick scan and then to do uh, our arch and flattens. So you might want to have a chair handy or, or you can sit on the floor. It's up to you. So we're going to start laying flat. And we're going to do a quick body scan and I'm going to mute everybody now. And so as you're laying there and you're taking a nice deep breath, just roll your head to one side nice and slow and really pay attention to the control and the, of the slowness you have turning your head to that one side. And then pause for just a moment and then slowly and smoothly turn your head back to center. When you get to center, pause. And then slow and smooth, turn your head to the other side now. And then slowly rolling your head back to center. And now you're going to press your shoulder blades down into the floor. So pressing your shoulder blades down to the floor and letting your arms roll till the palms are open or up to the ceiling. And hold for just a moment. And now super slow and smooth, release the shoulders, rolling your hands back over to palms down. Nice and slow and smooth. And then rest. And now rolling your hands in towards your body and squeezing your shoulders towards each other in front of you in your chest. Squeezing the shoulders gently together. Hold for just a moment. And now super slow and smooth. Release the shoulders. Letting them roll back down gently to the floor and rest. And now tilting your head back so that your chin is moving up towards the ceiling. Tilting your head back 
and then slow and smooth release that tilt. And what I really want you to pay attention to is any glitches or bumps that are happening in this movement. And when we check again at the end of class, we'll be able to compare and see if the movement becomes easier or smoother after we've released all those muscles. So now also take your awareness to your low back. Just notice how your low back is feeling today and your pelvis. And noticing anything else that's hurting or aching today in your body or, or maybe you just feel completely relaxed, which would be fantastic. So now go ahead and bend your knees and bring your feet to standing and we're going to start with our flatten and because we've all done this movement a few times now we're going to start with the flatten but we're going to go right into tilt and we're going to do flatten and tilt nice and fluid. So first taking an inhale as you stay relaxed and now as you exhale flattening your back to the floor bringing your pubic bone and ribs towards each other tightening in your abdominals. Hold for just a moment and now super slow and smooth. Release the contraction in your belly as slowly and smoothly as you can. And remember to always challenge yourself to try to do it even slower and even smoother. At the end of that release, you're going to go right into tilt by rolling your tailbone forward and down into the floor, arching your low back just gently off the floor. Hold for just a moment. And now super slowly release the tilt in your back. Slow and smooth. Releasing in your hips. And at the end of that release, going right into flatten again, flattening your back to the floor, bringing your pubic bone and ribs towards each other, tightening in your abdominals, holding for just a moment, and then super slow and smooth releasing. Nice and slow and smooth, releasing in your tummy muscles. And when everything is released and relaxed, going right into tilt, rolling your tailbone forward and down to the floor, just a nice small little arch of the low back, holding for just a moment and super slowly releasing. Nice and slow, letting your pelvis come back to neutral. And at the end of that release, going into flatten one more time, bringing pubic bone and ribs towards each other, tightening your tummy muscles, hold for just a moment. And now super slowly releasing the tummy muscles. And at the end of this release, just rest for a moment. And then when you're ready, without rushing, you'll roll to your side and come up to sitting. And we're going to go into that sitting position where you're going to have your right leg in front of your body and your left leg behind you. Beautiful. Thank you to my model, Courtney, for doing that position so lovely. <laughs> and now you're going to place both of your hands onto the floor beside you to the right. If you're sitting on a chair, you're going to place both of your hands onto the chair beside you to the right of you. Can you put both hands on that chair to the right, Auntie? Yep. And you might want to move that chair ahead a little bit so you're not twisting so much. Maybe you move it forward a little bit. Good. All right, we're going to start with a full torso turn. So you're going to keep your hands on the floor, but let them move if they need to. Please don't think that you need to have them cemented into one spot. Remember that we're always staying in our comfort zone when we're doing our somatic exercises. So all together, you're going to turn your torso, your head, and your eyes to the right. So turning torso, head, and eyes. Turning to the right. And when you've gone as far as you can go comfortably, pause for just a moment. And then I want you to mark something with your eyes to notice how far you've turned. And then slow and smooth with control, bringing everything back to the front now. Torso, head, and eyes. Turning back to the front. And when everything's back to the front, pause for a moment. And then we're going to repeat that one again, turning head, torso, and eyes, turning to the right. Now, when everything is turned to the back, you're going to pause for just a moment. And now leaving your torso to the back, turning just your head and your eyes now to the front. 
So head and eyes to the front, torso stays to the back. And when your head is back to the front, pause for a moment. And now we're gonna switch those movements. So now your head and eyes are gonna be turning to the back, nice and slow and smooth as your torso begins to turn to the front. Torso turning front, head and eyes turning back. And when you've gone as far as you can go comfortably, pause. And now nice and slow, switching again. So now head and eyes slowly moving to the front as your torso slowly begins to turn to the back. Pausing for a moment at the end of that one and reversing again. Slowly taking head and eyes now to the back as your torso slow and smooth begins to turn to the front. When you've gone as far as you can go, pause again. And then nice and slow, reversing one more time. Slowly bringing head and eyes to the front as you slowly take your torso to the back. And taking a moment to pause at the end of that one. And now keeping your torso where it is, you're gonna slowly take your head to looking down at your hands. So your head and your eyes now are gonna gaze down to your hands, which are on the chair beside you or on the floor beside you. And now nice and slowly, you're gonna bring your face and your eyes upwards. So tilting your head upwards towards the ceiling, slow and smooth as your eyes come with your head. And then pausing. And then nice and slow, bringing head and eyes back down again. And pausing. And one more time now, lifting head and eyes to the ceiling, nice and slow and smooth. Really working for nice, smooth, fluid movement. And now when you've reached as far as you can go comfortably here, you're gonna pause. And now your face is going to stay up as your eyes begin to gaze down. So face is staying up and eyes are going down. And now super slowly, we're going to reverse that. So super slowly now taking your face down to your hands as your eyes begin to slowly gaze up. Eyes moving upwards as your face moves downwards. And pause at the end of that movement. And then slowly switching again. So now slowly your face will be moving upwards and your eyes slowly gazing down. And at the end of that movement, switching one more time. Super slowly now bringing your face downwards as your eyes slowly begin to move upwards. Face moving down, eyes moving up. Pause for a moment and then super slowly bring your eyes back down to matching your face. Eyes are coming down now. Head and eyes looking down to your hands. Pause for a moment. And then super slowly moving your face and your eyes up to the ceiling again, moving together nice and smooth. And pausing. And then super slowly moving your head and your eyes back down. Instead of going all the way down, though, they're just going to come to neutral. And then slowly turning your head to the front. taking just a moment to pause and then we're going to do a full torso turn again so turning head eyes and torso to the right nice and smooth turning to the right you may notice that your left hip lifts off the floor and you're probably going to lean into your hands a little bit as you turn and that's totally fine when you've gone as far as you can go gaze with your eyes and see if you're at the same spot that you were when we started or if you've gone further and then super slowly turning your torso, head and eyes, back to the front. Once everything is turned back to the front and you've had a moment to just rest, we're gonna slowly switch to the other side. So you'll be bringing your left leg in front of you as your right leg goes behind you. If you're sitting in a chair, you're gonna to wanna to switch to the opposite chair unless you have three chairs there. 
and you're going to be resting both of your hands on the floor to your left or on the chair beside you to the left. And we're going to start with the full torso turn again. So turning your head, your eyes, and your torso, turning to the left as far as you can go comfortably. And then find something to look at with your eyes. Mark your spot. And then nice and slow and smooth, turning your torso, your head, and your eyes back to the front. And when everything is turned back to the front, taking a moment to pause. And then repeating. Courtney, just give this a try for me. And let, at the end of class, I'm going to ask you if it made a big difference. Move your hands out more to the side of you, to your left, and lean into them a little bit. Okay, and now try that turn again. And at the end, I want, to, I want you to tell me what, if you notice a difference. And your hip might lift a bit more as you turn this time too, possibly. So everybody turning again, nice and slow and smooth, head, eyes, and torso, turning to the left, pausing, and then super slowly turning everything back to the front again. And when you get to the front, taking just a moment to pause and then turning head, eyes, and torso to the back one more time. When you've gone as far as you can go, pause there for a moment. And now leaving your torso to the back, you're going to turn your head and eyes to the front. And then pause. And then nice and slow, you're going to switch. Head and eyes are going to go to the back now as your torso comes to the front. And pause. And switching again, taking torso now to the back as your head and eyes come to the front. And pause here. And now you're going to take your head and eyes down to looking towards your hands. And Courtney, you go ahead and move your hands wherever you need to to be comfortable now for this one. So head and eyes looking down to your hands. And then nice and slow and smooth, you're going to take your head and your eyes to moving upwards to looking towards the ceiling. Really working for smooth, fluid movement with your eyes and your head moving together. And then nice and slow reversing, taking your head and your eyes looking downwards. Slow and smooth, head and eyes moving together and gazing downwards. And then pause and we'll switch that again. So head and eyes now moving up again, nice and slow, head and eyes looking up. And pause. And then nice and slow, moving head and eyes back down. And each time you do this movement, really working to smooth out any of those little bumpy, glitchy spots that you may notice. And now keeping your head down, your eyes are going to gaze up. So face is going to stay down, eyes are going to now move upwards. And nice and slow, you're going to switch that. So very slowly now you're going to start moving your face upwards as your eyes begin to gaze downwards. And when you've gone as far as you can go, switching again. Now taking your face downwards, nice and slow and smooth as your eyes, slow and smooth, begin to gaze upwards. And when you've gone as far as you can go comfortably, switching one more time. Slowly gazing downwards now with your eyes as you slowly move your head and face upwards. And then super slowly, we're going to switch that one more time. Slowly taking now your face downwards as your eyes slowly begin to move upwards.
And then nice and slow, bringing your eyes back down to match with your head now. So your head and your eyes are both looking down. And then nice and slow, taking face and eyes up to the ceiling again. Head and eyes working, moving together. Nice and slow. And when you've gone as far as you can go comfortably, nice and slow and smooth, bringing face and eyes back down. And when face and eyes are back down, we're going to switch it again one more time, bringing face and eyes up to the ceiling. Nice and slow and smooth. And then slowly taking face and eyes back down to neutral. And when your head and eyes are to neutral, then slowly turning your head and your eyes to the front. Pausing for a moment. And then we'll do the full torso turn again. So turning now your head, your eyes, and your torso. Turning to the left as far as you can go comfortably. And then nice and slow, turning them all to the front again. Head, eyes, and torso turning nice and slow and smooth, turning to the front. Once you're back to the front, pause for a moment and then turning one more time. Torso, head, and eyes. Turning to the left. And when you've gone as far as you can go comfortably, check with your eyes where you're at and see if there's a difference in how far you're, you've turned now compared to the first one. And then nice and slow and smooth, turning everything back to the front. When everything is back to the front, taking just a moment to rest. And then we're going to go onto our backs again to do some arch and curl. So nice and slow, getting comfy on your back again with your knees bent, or you can do these sitting. If you're in a chair, this movement can still be done in a sitting position. Um, I would suggest though for the, in the sitting position on the chair, so for Auntie Linda, when we do the arch and curl, instead of bringing your arms up, I'd love for you to try just leaving them right where you have them on your lap and curl your shoulders in towards each other and let them come down, but without bringing those arms up today. Everybody else, you're going to go ahead and bring your hands up behind your head or behind your ears, wherever they're comfortable. And we're going to start with an inhale and arch. So inhale and arch, rolling your tailbone forward and down into the floor or into your chair. At the same time, pressing your shoulder blades to the floor or your chair and think of drawing them towards your tailbone. So your low back is arched, tilting your head back now too. And pause and now exhale as you super slowly release the contraction in your back, releasing in your shoulders, releasing in your neck, as slow and smooth as you can. And at the very end of that release, you're gonna go right into flatten, bringing your pubic bone and ribs towards each other as you flatten your back to the floor, bring your elbows together, and you're gonna lift your head and chest and bring your elbows towards your right knee. And if you're sitting in a chair, you're curling your shoulders and you're gonna turn your body slightly to your right knee. Hold for just a moment, and now super slowly lower your head back to the floor. Slow and smooth as you can. Once your shoulders and your head are resting on the floor, then super slowly opening your elbows. And once your elbows are back to the floor and your shoulders are released and your chest muscles and pecs are released, take just a moment to rest. And we'll repeat that one again. Inhale and arch as you roll your tailbone forward and down to the floor. Press your shoulder blades down, draw them towards your tailbone, tilt your head back. Exhale now as you super slowly release the contraction in your back, slowly releasing in your neck. So, so slow and smooth. 
And at the very end of that release, going right into flatten as you bring your pubic bone and ribs towards each other, bring your elbows together, lift your head and chest into your curled position. Hold for just a moment. And now super, oh, sorry, to your left leg, to your left knee. Hold there for just a moment. And now super slowly lowering, slowly bringing your head back down to the floor. Nice and slow and smooth. Once your head is to the floor or your back is in your chair, then slowly releasing in your pecs as you lower your elbows and release in your shoulders. And when you finish that one, make sure to take just a moment to rest. And we'll repeat that one again. Inhale and arch, rolling your tailbone forward and down to the floor or into your chair, pressing your shoulder blades back and down into the floor and draw them towards your tailbone. Tilt your head back, hold for just a moment, and now super slowly begin to release. Slowly releasing in your neck, slowly releasing in your shoulders, in your pelvis, slow and smooth as you can. At the very end of that release, going right into flatten as you bring your pubic bone and ribs towards each other, bring your elbows together, gently lift your head and chest into that curled position. Hold for just a moment. Really pay attention to your abdominals this time. So you've come up straight this time, both elbows straight towards your knees. Hold for a moment. And now as you lower your head, really focus on your tummy muscles. How much control do you have? How slow and smooth can you lower your head and your chest back to the floor? When your head and your shoulders are back to the floor, then slowly with control, opening the elbows. When everything is back to the floor, make sure to take just a moment to rest. And then we're going to repeat that one one more time. Inhale and arch as you roll your tailbone forward and down to the floor. Press your shoulder blades down. Think of drawing them towards your tailbone. Tilt your head back. Pause for a moment. And now nice and slow, exhale as you super slowly release the contraction in your back. Slowly releasing in your neck. Slowly releasing in your shoulders. At the very end of that release, going right into flatten, bringing your pubic bone and ribs towards each other as you flatten your back, bring your elbows together, and then gently lift your head and chest into that soft curl position. Holding for just a moment, and then super slowly, bring your head back down. As slow and smooth as you can. And once your head is down to the floor, then slowly begin to open your elbows. Once your elbows are resting on the floor, take a moment to rest. And everybody else is gonna bring their arms now beside their torso and rest. Courtney is gonna slowly turn to her side and go to sitting because she has to teach somebody online in a couple minutes. So bye, Courtney. Everybody else, we're gonna do a couple more now for our neck and we're gonna do one for our jaw also. So we're gonna start with our neck. So this, for this one, I want you to think of bringing your face straight up to the ceiling unless you're sitting in a chair. If you're sitting in a chair, your face is gonna go straight out in front of you, like a long neck, like a chicken head. So everybody else lifting your head just slightly off the floor, holding for a moment as your face is up to the ceiling and now super slowly lowering your head back to the floor. If you're sitting, slowly bringing your head back to neutral. And then rest. And we're gonna do that same one again, lifting your face up towards the ceiling. Remember, you only need to lift your head about an inch off the floor. So your head is lifting straight off the floor, holding for a moment, super slowly lowering your head back down to the floor. As slow and smooth as you can. taking a moment to rest 
and then repeating that one one more time. Lifting your face straight up to the ceiling, lifting your head just slightly off of the floor. And then nice and slow and smooth, lowering your head back down to the floor. And when your head is resting on the floor, take just a moment to rest. And now we're gonna do one for your jaw. So now what I'd like you to do is think of moving your lower jaw, moving your chin straight up to the ceiling. So you're jutting out your bottom jaw. And then super slowly release the jaw, slow and smooth, bringing it back to neutral. And now try just letting your jaw open softly. So your bottom jaw is just slightly, your teeth are slightly apart. And now what I want you to do is think of opening your mouth, but think of doing it by lifting the roof of your mouth. So think, imagine if you could take your finger and poke yourself in the very middle of the roof of your mouth. Try to imagine if you can lift the roof of your mouth letting your jaw relax by opening from the top. Try to think of bringing your top jaw upwards and then rest. And now you're gonna jut that bottom jaw out again. So bottom jaw going up towards the ceiling. And then super slowly releasing it. And then one more time with the roof of your mouth. So again, trying to imagine opening your mouth by lifting the roof of your mouth upwards. And then resting. And then we're gonna go back into our body scan position when you're all ready. So you're, if you did your scan today with your legs laying flat, then you're gonna lay your legs flat again. And we'll start with turning our head to one side. So whichever side you turn to first when we started, turning your head to the side and then nice and slow and smooth, bringing it back to center and really paying attention to if this movement is easier or smoother now than it was at the beginning of class today. And then nice and slow, turning your head to the opposite side. And then slow and smooth, bringing it back to center, really being aware of this movement. And once you're back to center, tilting your head back by bringing your chin up towards the ceiling, your head stays on the floor, tilting your head back. And super slow and smooth, bringing it back to neutral. And now you're gonna press your shoulder blades into the floor, rolling your hands open so palms will be up to the ceiling as you press your shoulder blades down. And now super slow and smooth, release the shoulders, slowly and smoothly rolling your hands back over to palms facing down. And then nice and slow, bringing your shoulder blades or your shoulders together in front of you by rolling your arms towards your body, squeezing gently in your pecs as your shoulders squeeze towards each other, holding for just a moment, and then super slowly releasing. And when you've finished releasing there, taking a couple more breaths and moving your awareness through the rest of your body to your lower back and your hips. Think about how they felt at the beginning of class today and how they feel now. And really enjoying 
and savoring this moment of relaxed, restful peace that you're probably feeling. And when you're ready, you can slowly roll to your side and come up to sitting. Make sure to take your time. And we have about four and a half minutes left for some questions and feedback.